This is the time when the talking has to stop and the action finally begins. A warm welcome to Wembley from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're just seconds away from kickoff time in what promises to be a wonderful Carabao Cup final. It is Chelsea taking on Liverpool. What a chance for one of these teams to get their hands on silverware. And over the years, we've seen some great League Cup finals. Let's hope today matches up to some of those occasions. Really looking forward to this one, Derek. Marcus Alonso, number seven. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Jorginho plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And operating an attack today is Romelu Lukaku. Take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson begins in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Should be a match to look forward to. Chelsea get it underway. Well, they need to get tighter. It comes to absolutely nothing. Romero Lukaku, a player who opposing defenders have simply got to keep tabs on. Stuart, you would expect he'll have something to say for himself here. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Can he finish? Simple catch, really. Error by the keeper. Might give him a chance. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Alonso. It's Callum Hudson-Odoi. And an effective clearance. Diogo Jota. Here is Thiago. Well, visionary passing. Nicely blocked, but he's got to get rid of it. Danger averted for now. And plenty of space for this Chelsea attack. Mount. And Goro Conte in the middle. It comes to nothing in the end. Salah. Henderson has it. And return to Henderson. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. And Goro Conte. And fed forwards. And this could pose problems for the defenders. It's still alive. Well, threat about it. Henderson. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Has a go. Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. the situation defensively and did his job 
And as they continue to pass it around, the attack goes through Lukaku. Oh, yes! Goal for Chelsea! It's the opening statement in the final. And it could be massively important for them. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. Well, back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. N'Golo Conte. Lukaku. Conte. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So, 2-0 now. He's beaten his man. The delivery from Salah here. Well, he seemed to catch it on the wrong part of his head. Well, Chelsea have had so much possession, as you can see. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball, which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well underway once more, and the first half struggles for Liverpool were there for all to see. Can they make a better fist of it this half? Diogo Jota. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. It's looking promising. Mane. Jota. Not quite the cross he was hoping for. Real chance! Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. N'Golo Conte. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Fabinho Diogo Jota they've lost it well the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do Liverpool corner given Substitution for Liverpool. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Jordan Henderson to be replaced by number seven, James Milner. And he's fired over the corner. Well, it has come to nothing. Free kick awarded to Liverpool. And the referee deciding to admonish him, but not book him. I think that's good refereeing. It's a foul, but no more than that. Well, not quite the tantalising free kick he was hoping for. Goalkeeper's ball. And a fine tackle. Milner. Chance to cross. And caught with ease, no real threat from the cross. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Mount, and he's in. And it's come off the keeper. And a time for cool heads. Breaking at pace. 
Well, that's one for them to pursue. Oh, what an opportunity. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Trying to pick out a teammate. And the keeper there to catch it under no real pressure. He's got to kick it away. Excellent ball over the top. And he might be in here. A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, here it is again. The ball over the top is an absolute beauty, but really the goalkeeper should never be exposed that easily. Great team goal, but woeful defending. Now we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Well, as the second half draws to a close, we can reflect on a very fine Chelsea performance. Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attack in play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. And Pulisic has it. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing, drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. A lopsided contest. 4-0. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Pulisic and showing fine vision well he really tried to connect with it but a long way off target <laughs> Fabinho it's with Roberto Firmino Here's Oxlade-Chamberlain. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. And Goro Conte. Good bit of pressing. Oxlade-Chamberlain. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. 
Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exit.